Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good hello, evening. teacher. Hello, everyone. Good night. How are you today? Uh -huh. How are you guys? Um, so far, so good, I think. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> and you, everyone, how do you feel today? Uh huh. Oh, hello. Hello. How good are evening. you? Uh, good, good, all good. That's great. Excellent. Yes. Right now it's raining here, so it's pretty cool. That's good. Yes, I think that it's raining in, in many cities. In my city was raining just like some minutes ago, but now it's not raining anymore, but it's it's pretty fresh, so that's good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And you guys, is it raining in your cities? Yes. Yes. It's raining right now. Good. It's raining right now. I love. That's good. Well, I hope that the storm it doesn't affect the, the connection, right? But look at the bright side. You will have a very fresh night. That's good. That's something positive. And that is almost Friday, everyone. It's Thursday. I know that you might be tired, but let's resist a little bit more, okay? So let's see who else is there. I can see Sifrido. Hello, Sifrido. How are you today? Hello, teacher. I'm fine. Very good. Excellent. Who else? Well, actually, I have a lot of listeners. Okay. But welcome to the class, everybody. I'm happy to see you here. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for being on time. And thank you for the one who has the camera on. And the other ones, I'm waiting, guys. I want to see you. So keep the camera on, please. Very good. Not how can see Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. All right. Welcome, everybody. Do you remember what was the topic that we studied yesterday? And uh, Digital marketing. Very good. Exactly. We were studying a little bit about digital marketing. And we have another type of marketing. Do you remember which one? Online, offline. Offline. That is the one. Excellent. So today we are going to continue practicing talking about that topic. Okay. So I hope that you remember. And so guys, a reminder, remember that right now we are in the unit number three. Okay. And we are working in the unit. Well, we are in the week number four. I'm sorry working in the unit number three. So on the platform, you must be working in the unit number three, okay? I hope that everybody already finished the unit number two and including the midterm, okay? If you haven't done that, please guys, you have to start, okay? If you have any questions so far about the platform, Again, you can tell me, please. Right now, let me show you uh, the progress that you have. In this moment, just let me open up the platform. Let's see, let's see. I'm going to share with you the progress from the unit and also the people that already finished the exam. Can you see what I'm sharing right now? Yes, I can. Yes. yes. Excellent. Now, something pretty good is that I can see a lot of progress. Look, from the unit number two, a lot of people already finished the unit number two. So only a few people need to work a little bit more in order to get at least the minimum that is the 80%. But so far, so good. Most of you already finished the unit number one and the unit number two. And that's pretty cool. Look at this. Again, few people need to work a little bit more, but so far so good. Now, remember that in the unit number two, we have the midterm, okay? And this is the midterm. Few people is missing too. Most of you already finished the midterm. Remember guys, the minimum score 
is the 80%, okay? So if you have less than 80%, um, you can take the exam again, right? And if you haven't finished or if you haven't taken the midterm, so I need you guys to work on it, okay? Again, I have some people that mm, they haven't taken the midterm, so everybody do it, okay? Remember, that is the score that you are going to have. Please, if you have questions about it, just let me know and I will help you with that um, the same way that I have done it with the previous exercises, okay? But it's pretty important to finish the platform, so don't leave the platform for the last minute, okay? Any questions so far about the platform? No, no question. No questions? Pretty good. Okay, everybody, now let's start. Today, we are saying goodbye to August. And this is the last day for August. Next month is our patriotic month. So can you see the question, everybody? Yes. Yes, excellent. So today is August 31st. And as I mentioned before, right now we are working in the unit number three. Next week, we are going to work in the unit number four. That is the last one. Now, this is the topic that we are going to study today. We are going to continue discussing the digital and offline marketing strategies. This is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading, please. I will do it. Yes, please, go ahead. At the end of the class, participants will develop their own ideas on how to use digital and offline marketing and strategies and use the question facts to confirm information. Very oh. good. <laughs> so, Basically, guys, we are going to divide the class into topics. We are going to continue practicing the topic that we started yesterday, that is digital and offline marketing. And the second part of the class, we are going to practice this topic, that is questions, tags, all right? It's a pretty easy topic, so don't worry. It's not that difficult like the reported speech. However, if we still have time during this week and the next week, guys, I'm going to try to take at least five or 10 minutes to continue practicing or reviewing the reported speech, okay? So if we have time today, we are going to practice a little bit in order that you don't forget it, okay? Now, if you remember, guys, yesterday we started some vocabulary. For example, can you give me some examples of digital marketing? Do you remember? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? For example, yesterday we say, ah, okay, the social media, that's a digital marketing? Yes, mm. but what else? Mm. Email marketing. Marketing. Email, yes. What else? Mm, ads, and website, SMS. Ads. Mm, yes, SMS, mm -hmm. direct Yes. What else? Uh, phone. Paper phone click. calls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, phone calls is a digital marketing? Mm. Mm. No, paper click. Okay. And the rest of you, everyone, do you remember the vocabulary? Only two people are answering. Another example of digital marketing? Hmm. Okay, the idea guys, try to review the vocabulary so you don't forget it, please. So if you remember, we were saying that a blog is a way of digital marketing. Of course, some years ago, a blog was very common. Maybe today is not that common, but it's still a way of digital marketing. 
social media that is like the most common nowadays, but we also have text message. Remember when we were talking about that you receive on your cell phone a lot of text messages from different companies offering some offers. Then we have the email. Yesterday we were talking about that you sometimes receive a lot of emails uh, with different promotions from different companies. Then we have the search engine op uh, optimization, right? And we have the pay-per-click as some of your classmates mentioned. Now, which of these ones do you consider guys is the most effective in your own opinion? Social media. Social media. Do you agree everyone? Is social media the most effective digital marketing right now? What do you think? Yes, teacher, because it's it's a massive uh, communication to the people. Definitely. And if you see with the social media, now that it's so common and popular, I mean, everybody, basically, all, we can say, almost everybody in the world they have a social media profile so it's a good strategy now we also study the opposite the offline marketing so can you give me some examples of offline marketing billboard very good brochure yes liar liar all right Cold calling. Very good. Mouth to word or some, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Okay. Business cars. Very good. So exactly what you said, those are examples of offline marketing. Which of these ones do you consider is the most effective? Uh -huh. Maybe the phone calls. I don't remember the, the, the vocabulary of that with the phone calls. <laughs> okay, when we are talking about the phone calls, guys, what is the one? Is that? Call? Calling when we receive a phone call. That is the one. They offer to you something. Exactly. So we don't say phone call. We say call calling. So... And, oh, okay. <laughs> and how about you guys? What is the most effective in your opinion? Billboard, literature, business card. What do you think? Could be uh, a player, a flyer. A flyer. Because... Some uh, the some type people send a lot flyers. Yes, definitely. Uh huh. And the rest of you, everybody, do you agree with your classmates, or do you have another idea? All right. Well, this is depends, as we said yesterday, right? It's going to depend on the kind of company, the kind of product that you are offering, and of course, the kind of target market or the audience that you are looking for, right? Pretty good. Now, don't forget the vocabulary. Try to review it. Yesterday, we were having an activity. Do you remember what was the activity that we had yesterday at the end of the class? Uh, to, pick a, to, to pick a product and um, try to make a strategy to digital marketing. Correct. So if you remember yesterday, we had to work in groups. And you have to imagine that you work in the marketing department of your company. Then you have to introduce a new product. You have to tell me what the product is. And you have to decide 
what marketing strategy you will use to advertise that product. If you want, you can use offline marketing or you can use digital marketing or you can use both. So you just have to explain me which one. For example, you can say, ah, we are going to use a billboard and also we are going to use the social media. Perfect. Now explain me the advantages and disadvantages of using those strategy. What is the advantage of social media? And what is the disadvantage of using social media? What is the advantage of using billboard? And what is the disadvantage of using it? Okay, that is basically what you had to do yesterday. Unfortunately, because of the time we couldn't finish, but today we are going to continue working on it. Okay, but before going to the rooms, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Um, Amanda Zamora Miranda. Okay, Ana Lorena Lovato. Present teacher. Thank you. Boris Alexander Cortez. Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Present. Thank you. Carlos Mauricio Benjiva. Present. Very good. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Elías Neftali Martínez. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez. José Salvador Bernal. Osman Atilio Serrano. Kevin Alexander Pérez. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. María José Sigüenza. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexis Lara. All right. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present. Thank you. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez. Cifrido Ernesto Gómez. Present teacher. Thank you. Wilber Alberto Pérez. Present. Thank you. And Andrea Yamilet Mendoza. Present. Thank you. All right. So, Salvador, presente. Okay. Thank you, Salvador. Very good. All right. Um, look at this one. We have a problem, guys. <laughs> I have the people who were working in the teams yesterday, but not everybody is here. So some groups are incomplete. So, because not everybody is here, we are going to combine, okay? So, for example, in the team number one, I had Carlos, Mauricio. Well, Carlos is here. Very good. Carlos was working with Lorena, but Lorena right now, she said that it's going to be listener. And we have Ricardo Ernesto that I'm not sure if he can participate right now. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's see. Um, is it okay, guys, if I combine the groups? Yes, because unfortunately, not all the groups are complete. Okay, sorry for that. Then we have in the team number two, I had, uh, let me see, Andrea, is Andrea here? Yes, right? Yes. So I had I Kevin Alexander and I have Alexis, but I think that Alexis also it's listener right now. Okay. Uh, team number three. In the team number three, I have Carlos Ernesto is here. Salvador is here. Postman, are you there? And Wilbur. I think that that group is, is almost done. Hmm. Okay, give me a second.
All right. In the next team, I had Amanda, Osman, and Pamela. So, <laughs> so guys, don't miss the classes, please. If you miss the classes, your partners will be alone. I think that Amanda is not here, right? In the next team, I had a uh, Boris Edwin. Ulysses and Frida, I think that some of them are here. Pretty good. Okay. Okay. Um, as I mentioned, we are going to combine some tips. All right. So, but the idea, guys, is to continue working in the activity that we started yesterday. Okay, after the breakup rooms, continue uh, organizing your ideas and then we're going to go back to the main room and we are going to present the information. Got it? Is it clear? Yes. Any questions before going to the breakup rooms? Questions? No, no. no? pretty good. Okay, let's go to work, please. Remember, write it down. So when we come back to the main room, Everybody can have the same information. Let's go to work. I asked him for you. <laughs> yes, sorry, I was in a little meeting. Yes, they yes. take, take oh. longer than I expected. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We, were, we were talking yesterday, we were talking about the, um, the strategies. Continue. For the fast rabbit shoes. <laughs> I think you are alone, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think that your classmate is listener. So I'm sorry, Carlos, but I'm going to join you to another team, okay? Because I'm not sure if your classmate will be able to join you. Okay. Okay, pretty good. Um, give me a second. I'm going to join you to another team. Hey, well, I, I, I'm not a spy here, okay? I will try to help you. <laughs> okay. okay. Now, uh, we are talking uh, about the uh, the task for yesterday uh, because uh, Osman, uh, Osman did it and after he did it, he shared it. Uh, so now we are looking at the task he made. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, in my group, we were talking about a new cell phone where we were talking about um, an iPhone, iPhone 20, and the brand Apple. And we were talking about uh, use both a kind of uh, publicity uh, online and offline. In offline, we, we decide to use uh, the billboard. Mm -hmm. And online, we were uh, agreed to use um, click to pay and social media okay yes because we we think uh, if we use billboards in the crowded places uh, they will going to a big impact 
and the other one uh, click to pay uh, is something annoying but uh, appears in everywhere so uh, maybe a uh, potential customer okay uh, some clicking we will we will buy something okay uh, uh, that this is the task that uh, Hosman shared uh, so uh, in this moment we 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 are starting it was I was thinking about that and disadvantages about the car but uh, we have to you uh, use the the car for example the limit of the energy yes. that the car store in a battery yes the battery but uh, this that car has a disadvantage about the battery okay it's, it's because, one <laughs> because that car the big disadvantage is uh, the battery they have only a lapse then to travel 13 kilometers kilometers for example mm -hmm. 150 to around uh, 400 450 kilometers maximum i think per day what about uh, um what do you think uh the freedom mm. <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a topic. Yeah. Uh, interesting. Yeah. Yes. It's like you just now I have a lot of ideas on my mind, but I'm trying to create like a power. Mm -hmm. Yeah. New Volvo and trying to use like a eco friendly or something like that. And... Okay, but uh, um, we can. Uh, we can talk about the, this that car, but uh, we have to. How do you say "go here"? Choose, choose, choose. Uh, we have to choose the the brand of the car, mm -hmm. the color, and, and what is the brand of the car? It's Volvo. 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 Ah, okay. Yes, and the car has two doors. Exactly. Two doors. Uh, doors, yes. Oh, okay. For a couple. <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. I I think so the disadvantage could be a uh, power supply. Uh maybe uh a specific power supply for the uh, car is only that the the owner and then the tire i influence right yes yes okay what is the second strategy maybe uh the second uh strategy was that we can send um let me let me think the, the word um let some demos demos mm. uh, uh trials no uh, uh, muestras uh, how do you say muestras yes teacher can you help us we don't know how to say muestras so you are talking about the the ones cosmetics I'm sorry. Yes, cosmetics. Cosmetics. Oh, you, can, you, you can say just samples. Oh, samples. Samples. Yes, samples. Yeah, yeah, samples. How do you how do you spell it? Samples. It's exactly as you listen. 
samples. Um, I'm sending it in the chat. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Send some samples. Uh, to, the, to many influencers so they can show but them. We have Janina Berrios right now. We don't but need he, her. But she needs to come back. She needs uh too many chongengas to be happy, so <laughs> we are going to and say too it. much um aloe, my aloe. <laughs> so it, 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 I think it's not a, a good option because it would it will be expensive. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to send samples to some influencers. Five, some influencers. Five influencers. That oh, maybe maybe these influence those influencers uh, send a history on Instagram. Yeah, they they have to um um make for me for me um uh, I think it's better digital, digital, digital marketing because digital marketing. Uh, mm -hmm. because uh, a lot of people La all work uh, the, the people have has um, the cell phone in the cell phone Instagram TikTok Facebook uh, is must is is easier uh, the advertising uh, reach them what reach them yeah yes uh, reach them Los uh, uh, yes uh, I think it's better it's not it's not equal uh, for example the the flyer or the brochure is more complicated yes in in that case i am um, agree with you because for me it's uh annoying when someone gives me some flyer or some brochure and just i take it because i am a polite people but <laughs> in the next corner in the next uh, corner i drop off in the garbage right right <laughs> but i yeah. don't stop to to read it yeah, yeah. I you have to be, and immediately I drop off. Yeah, you have to be polite because they work in also, no? Yes. <laughs> yeah. That is their work, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Overall, when is when they are a uh, advertising of a uh, ah, we witchering <laughs> brujería. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever seen that advertising? No. <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. It, it, they, I. It was a long time. I was working. Uh, and. Or to disadvantage. To disadvantage. Yes, the competitors, the competitors, and the specific knowledge to communicate with the potential clients. And okay. uh, I don't know. We have two advantages also. That is okay. easy and easier to connect with many people around the world. Okay. And uh, hmm. another advantage is um, that is faster. Uh, you uh, you say many people can many people can see or commercial. I say they uh, are mechanical faders. Yes. Oh, what do you say? The word is. You ready? Not really. No. no. <laughs> but almost. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the other teams are ready i will try to give you four more minutes okay okay uh, 
Okay, 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 okay. The other one was Oscar, right? Yeah. Invasion. Oh. Governance. <laughs> oh, the name of the other guy. Sorry. Um, Pete, you ready? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we are. Um, I I search last longer on the on the Google, but I prefer not to share what I found. But, <laughs> but it's it's correct to okay. say that. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> last longer. Last longer. <laughs> yes, it's it's correct. I don't know what you are talking about, but uh, I'm going to check another team, and then we are going to go back to the main room. All right. Okay. 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 The same cell phone. You ready? So, uh. Yes. Yeah. The yeah. Uh, yes or no? <laughs> 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the idea is that everybody has the same ideas, okay? The same information. Okay. So I'm going to check on our team and then we are going to go back to the main room, all right? Okay. Okay. Pretty good. All right. Um, You're ready, right? Yes. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Yes. So um, I know that Pamela has some issues with the with the connection. So unfortunately, they have just you two. Okay. okay. No problem. No problem, teacher. Excellent. Pretty good. Okay. Let's okay. go back to the main room. Okay. okay. Time's up. Time's up. Time's up. All right, all right, the time stop, everyone. We are going to wait for everybody to go back to the main room. All right, let's see. Some of your classmates are still in the breakup rooms. Time's up, everyone. Let's go back. All right. So how was the practice? Easy or difficult? What do you think? Uh-huh. Was difficult, but with the disadvantages. Ah, okay. And the rest of you guys, how was the practice? Easy or difficult? 50-50? Are you ready to work in the marketing department? No. Mm, I need to study more. <laughs> All right. Imagine, guys, if your boss offer you to pay you the double salary that you have right now, just if you move to the marketing department, what would you say? Probably, yes. <laughs> ah, that's the I'm, I'm a marketer. So. Ah, okay, that's good. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. my work is in another. Ah, in yeah. another area. Okay. Look, we are going to listen to the analysis that your classmates did. So we are going to do it group by group. So let's listen to the team number one. I know, guys, that uh, some of your classmates, unfortunately, they had to be listeners, okay? But let's see. In the team number one, I had Andrea, uh, Kevin Alfredo, and Kevin Alexander. Just you, right, guys? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so I need you guys to explain what's the product, okay? Tell me what kind of marketing you will use and the advantages and disadvantages of the product. So, who wants to start? Okay, I will start. Go ahead. Uh, telling you uh, what is our product. So, uh, we are selling a new lipstick. This lipstick um, is really magical because 
um, it will last longer on your lips. And we were talking with, with the teen and this lipstick will, uh, will, will last even though you kiss anyone <laughs> everywhere <laughs> and anytime. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, that's no, the list will will last. It will last. Uh, sorry, the list will last. Will last. Uh, ten hours, with no okay. trousers. Even if I brush my teeth. Yeah, even though. Wow, I'm interested now. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a magical formula. Wow. A secret. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. You guys can explain the strategies. Okay. Our strategy is to hire, um, our main strategy is to hire a, a really popular influencer on of El Salvador because she makes makes people talk about her good or bad, but she does that. So we're going to hire uh, Janira Barrios <laughs> because uh, I, we think she will be a good option to spread the word about uh, our lipstick because she always want to be and mm, mm, be to to um she always she's viral all the time even outside the country so that's what why we think she is a, a good option and the advantages of hiring her uh, as our main um, influencer is that she will be, I think, we think uh, more cheaper than other influencers uh, on El Salvador. Um, but the disadvantages are that she get mad, get mad all the time with the company that hires her. So um, we, ha we have to, to make a really big effort to make her happy. <laughs> so um, the other strategy that we have is uh, we are going to send samples to many influencers of El Salvador, uh, but they have to uh, share or, or, or post uh, our product on their social network. That's the that's that's the second strategy. Strategy. <laughs> Sorry, okay. I I I I I. It's really hard for me to say a strategy. It's <laughs> I, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. Okay, what else? What else? Kevin, Alfredo, share us something. Uh, really, chair, uh, in our team, just uh, we did just three strategies and my classmates uh, told all the all the strategies but I can repeat the what is the the strategies what are the strategies uh, the first strategy is that we are going to hire a influencer Janira Berrios I and disagree with the decision <laughs> <laughs> why because we are trying to sell a lipstick and for a good girl and <laughs> to, to look so beautiful. Who did you um, have uh, who did you have in mind? He preferred Gatita Serpa. <laughs> really? No, 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 not really. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, because he's bilingual, he so that's why. A, a option, uh, <laughs> you made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kevin, who, who was your option? I'm sorry. My, my option is the second strategy uh, is send the samples to other influencers and maybe they post uh, some reel or some history on Facebook oh, okay. and other girls can see the product uh, but not specific Janira Berrios. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that sounds interesting. So basically, guys, you will use um only digital marketing, right? Yes. Pretty good. And because it's cheaper. <laughs> okay. And how much is the lipstick? 
it's uh, it's it's really cheaper. It's ten dollars. Okay. How many colors do you have? Uh, all the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, I like that. Okay, seven and three more. <laughs> Okay, sounds good. All right, team number one. Very good job. Good analysis. I love it. Okay. Um, honestly, it sounds very interesting, that product. I like the strategies. So if you pay attention, they were mentioned the strategies, the advantages, and some disadvantages too. I love it. Very good job. Okay, so they are ready to go to the marketing department. <laughs> Now, let's continue with the team number two. In the team number two, I had Carlos Ernesto, Carlos Mauricio, and Wilber Alberto. Okay, boys, go ahead. Okay, uh, our, our product is uh, the cell phone Samsung Galaxy Flip, Flip 5 and uh, Fold 5 too. Um, I I think um, it's better the platform, the digital marketing, for example, um, social media marketing. Uh, the case, uh, for example, the Facebook or YouTube. When when I watching YouTube, uh, I a, li a little bit videos in the force. A, uh, there are publicity, the cell phones, and the 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 way or the manner and the force um, to uh, email marketing, um, a blog is in the case uh, digital marketing. Uh, I. I have, I have. So you will use different uh, digital marketing, social media, emails. Ah. Uh, yes. Oh. Am I right? Yes. Um. Yes, different yes. digital, but no, yes. no, all of them. Ah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So what else? Another strategies, or those are the only ones. Uh, there are other strategies. Mm -hmm. Let's say. <laughs> uh, con continue with the explanation. So uh, we are going to use an offline strategies too. And uh, we will use a billboard in the crowded places here in El San Salvador and in other big countries like San Miguel, Santa Ana, and others like that. Uh, the intention is reach the potential customer where they have a they are in the different category about money <laughs> because the cell phone is the prices is a little bit high. So for that reason, uh, we were looking for that places and other uh, strategy. Uh, is and the online pay per click was another one. Um, what what else? Social media, right, Carlos? Uh, it was, Social media, right? It was uh, yeah. uh, maybe. Uh, Wilbert, if you want, can continue, please. Okay. Right, right, right. No yes, problem. explain us. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Something like okay, some some disadvantages about the uh, this strategies uh, that was talking about a uh, Mauricio was our billboard. Uh, Ernesto was talking us uh, that he has a, a bad strategy because it distracts uh, uh, to drivers. It's right. It's right, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it doesn't mean that they have a uh, uh, watch the 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 advertising, no? 
because it may work in the traffic jam also, no? Because uh, if you are in a traffic jam, you you also you always I are angry. <laughs> it's not necessary. You you can be angry because you are rocking around you who is uh, as like you, no? <laughs> uh, fighting. So uh, there are some disadvantages, but uh, also I I would like to add a. Uh, uh, they both have disadvantages and advantages because uh, when we are using a digital marketing, uh, we are focusing in uh, young people because they use uh, a computer and cell phones. Oh, so basically, basically, you are trying to reach both, right? Young yeah, people right. And, and old people too, because they are the ones that are driving most of the time. Yeah, right. right. Okay. So, uh, 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 yeah, uh, we focus in 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 the in the in a broad way about uh, young people and the uh, and and old people. No. Sounds good. How much is a cell phone, guys? Very very expensive. Uh, <laughs> two thousand two hundred forty nine dollars. Ah, come on! But Only if you, but if, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That uh, that uh, the model of this cell phone is big because the screen can be fold. Ah, okay. Uh -huh, that's the newest. Sounds good, but yeah, only two thousand dollar guys. Come on, yeah, only only that, <laughs> only that. Pretty good. I like that. Uh, do you want to add anything else, Tim? It's okay for me. It's okay. All right. We, we cover all. Sounds good. All right. Thank you, guys. Very good job. I like that. So if you paid attention, they are using both digital, but also offline and that is what some companies do right not only digital but also offline in order to reach different kind of potential of potential customers nice job thank you team very good now let's continue uh with the next team in the next team uh, i had amanda and osman it was pamela but i think that pamela has some issues with the connection so but Go ahead, guys. Explain me what you have. Thank you, teacher. Well, Just start, um, Pamela. <laughs> hello, sorry, I I have problems with the connection, but I I can explain the the product. Perfect. Go ahead. Okay. Um, our product uh, name is fast rabbit shoes <laughs> <laughs> the these shoes are uh sport shoes the these shoes are unisex are comfortable shoes and has technology to make you run faster and jump higher uh, also they have an airflow cooling technology to make them fresh on your feet so that's our product sounds interesting all right yeah. yes teacher is if you use our pro you can run very fast <laughs> yes. you think really yeah. you're going to a uh, winner <laughs> Okay. Want to be a winner. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Okay. So, which strategy, guys, will you use? Uh, we we going to use a uh, digital marketing, a specific social media, mm -hmm. because I uh, we think is is a uh, way cheaper. Also, a. Uh, easier to use. Also, um, we think many, many, many people uh, can see our product in this medium. Uh, or, and many people, and many people uh, use, uh, have, have, have 
use about social media. Yes. Sounds good. Yeah, that's very popular. Yes, it's very popular. Correct. How about the advantages and disadvantages? Well, um, about advantages, the this was the reason uh, because we selected the social media because it's cheaper and it's easier to connect with many people around the world and uh, it's faster than the offline strategy. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are like an introductory brand and we need to save some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, a, that's definitely a good idea. How about some and disadvantages? Or do you uh, the disadvantages uh, that we found that this is a lot of competi com competitors for because the the sport shoes is very popular in common. And and another of the disadvantages is that if we want to connect with the people around the world, we need a, a specific knowledge about the cultures. And there is this can be an an issue because maybe you can get some misunderstandings about the culture mm -hmm. and the knowledge or to get a specific community manager uh, 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 with the, this kind of uh, strategies, we need to get some extra money to, <laughs> to get the contract about it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I, I want to give uh, other opinion about Amanda's Say, sell. Go ahead. Uh, we need to know other languages uh, to give exact information to customer uh, than the another people, the, the another country. Sounds yes. good. Good thing you already speak English. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Now let me ask you: um, Do you have these sneakers for um, women, men, children? Yes. Yes, we we just uh, talked about uh, men and women. Ah, not for children yet. No. Ah. Or or we we didn't consider. Ah, okay, okay. How much are them? Around. Well, maybe around sixty dollars. <laughs> it's a competitive <laughs> price. So okay i mean sounds good it's sounds a great good. deal versus the samsung it is comparing to samsung uh, cell phone yeah it's it's pretty cheaper i like that okay interesting i like the analysis guys do you have in different colors yes a lot of color <laughs> I yellow love brown black white like blue green okay. many colors <laughs> we didn't talk about the colors, but Osman is our sales director. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay. Thank you, Tim. Very good job. I like it. You see, guys, you're analyzing. I love that. Pretty good job. Pretty good job. Okay. Now we are going to listen to uh, our last team. In the last team, we have Eulise, um, Nelson, and Sufrido, right? Okay, boys, go ahead. <laughs> Only one, please. <laughs> Sorry, okay. my, my mouse is dying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you share the screen? Uh, me? Yep. Yeah. Can I share the screen? Yes, of course, you can. Okay. Oh, they had a presentation. Okay, and I was thinking my cell phone was expensive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be ready, guys. <laughs> yeah, well, we are thinking about something different. Uh, we think on a new brand card. In this case, the brand is Bobo. The new seal is Bobo. Inspired by the god of the lightning and thunders from the Greek mythology. Uh, the team behind this, well, the marketing team behind of the success of the company 
is Elisa, Nelson, Edwin, and me. And we will explain some of the advantage of the new seals. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, the cars about the car electric cars. Uh, the car is a good car for uh, many people, a specific uh, for the rich people, could be <laughs> us, everybody, all of us, of course, <laughs> maybe that's okay. not bad, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay. If you have a lot of money, you can buy a car. Okay. Um. Uh. The 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 rally bar. Uh. The Lurixi or Echo Friday. Uh. Noiseless and uh, could be the um advantages. Um. The car. Could be uh noiseless and eco friendly, friendly, friendly and friendly and customer and customizable. I don't know. Customizable. <laughs> customizable, and for um as well uh no speed re uh, chain required uh for example as well, and could be a uh, fever. Mechanical failures uh, could be a no other uh, advantages about the car. So look at this one. It says that you need to charge it for two hours, right? If I charge the car for two hours, how um, long can I use it? No, not specific. Uh, it's around 30 minutes. Okay, okay. Yes, it's a, a good um advantage, advantages about the electric car. Hmm, sounds good. I like it. What else? Hmm. Well, uh, Sufrido. Oh, me, me, continue. Me, me. Oh, Nelson me. is going to continue. Uh, okay. Another advantage of the car they don't need much maintenance and mm -hmm. this kind of bike vehicle are also high performance vehicles whose motors are not only quiet and smooth but require less maintenance than internal combustion engines eh, sorry <laughs> such as a uh, oil oil change uh, this model, uh, no, it's an advantage. Uh, versus, uh, from others, uh, kind of, of brands or, or other electrical cars. Uh, uh, reduce emissions is important because it's eco-friendly to help the environment. Uh, well, the disadvantage. Uh, um, Zeus, the Zeus, uh, yeah, it's the it's the car. Uh, Zeus um have a has a little disadvantage the charge time, but uh, from others vehicles, uh, is is better because uh, they need uh, the car need only two hours for church the full church so how much the okay i need to charge it for two hours so if i charge it for two hours how long can i use it oh the this is a other mm, <laughs> disadvantage and advantage <laughs> from others the distance you charge for electric, two hours <laughs> electric cars uh, That's can travel can travel valid. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Electric cars uh, can travel less distance from the conventional cars. Approximately? Uh, approximately 
60 and 120 miles for church per church sorry okay. uh, <laughs> from others is a good distance well our country is a small guy so yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You can go to one side to another side with just one charge. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, why not? Okay, uh, which strategy will you use? Strategy. Uh, we are using electrified marketing strategies. <laughs> uh, one of them is show retaking billboards in the best place of the city, like malls, like... Uh, Elite gas stations and the uh, best spots, I think, is the word. Okay. Sounds good. What else? I'm sorry. <laughs> Social media is the strategy uh, through the fan page, ads on the web page, different web page, because this car is for a specific market. <laughs> that you can pay it. Uh, I don't know why, but I feel so a little, a little discriminated. Uh, in, in yeah. This, in this yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, th I think that that advertising uh, campaign will, will be only for Santa Elena or 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 the highest uh yeah highest money uh, <laughs> only, only in in it says in some uh, specific areas like the Area. selected customers explain me that please you have to be a vip for buying one <laughs> it's for the price but nobody here can price. buy it <laughs> okay i i have a question uh, i like i like that one um call calls to vip customers how do you choose those vip customers for the Bank account? What is the, credit no. card record? Uh huh. Credit record. Incomes. Incomes. Uh -huh, okay. Incomes uh, per month, for example. Sounds good. Okay. For the money yeah. they spend. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I uh, spend a lot, but my income is not too <laughs> high. <higher. laughs> Sorry, but you are not selected. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, okay, that sounds interesting. I like it. How about the disadvantages? There is no disadvantages in this car. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, talking about the, the strategies. But the There's car is no disadvantage in the strategies of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. I mean, look at this one. The car looks, I mean, it's awesome. Looks Beautiful. good. Beautiful. Yeah, it yes. is. Okay. Anything else, guys? Do you want to add anything else? Um. By now, the the <laughs> the car the general little noise is is that's why is the the nice car mm -hmm. because it's it's a little noise. Okay. Yeah. And could you select the car? Do you have in different colors? Sales uh, is available in black, coming soon gray color. Nice. Wow. Okay. I love it. Thank you, guys. Pretty good. Nice. I love it. Uh, again, I felt a little discriminated because I considered <laughs> that I'm not going to receive the cold uh, the cold call. Discriminated, teacher. <laughs> How so? But but look, <laughs> I like it. So look at this one. Everybody talked about different products. So that's very interesting, guys. So I love the way that you are analyzing. I love the way that you can see different perspectives. You have different ideas. Nice. A very good job. I love it. Excellent, guys. Pretty good job. I love it. Now, um. I don't know why, but I love the presentations, honestly. So claps for everyone. Very good. All right. Now let's relax. Let's stop thinking about the digital marketing. 
And let's go back in business for grammar. And today, guys, uh, we are going to study a very easy topic. Don't worry, it's not that complicated. And we are going to study the topic that is the tag questions or question tags. In some grammar books, you will see question tags. In other, you will see tag questions. But in the end, it's basically the same. Have you ever heard about this topic? Yes, on the activity, but I can I couldn't answer it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no worries. After today's class, you will be able to do it. So we are going I, I to hope. divide. Yeah, don't worry. We are going to divide this topic um today and tomorrow, right? Because we are going to see the different question tags again in different grammar tenses. Okay, so today we are going to see the question tags, but only in simple present. Okay. Later, we are going to study it in simple past and then in future. The idea is that you can be able to ask question tags in different grammar tenses, okay? So, perfect. what is the question tags to start with? Question tags, guys, are those type of questions that we ask just to confirm information. Okay, it's like when you know the answer, but you just want to confirm. Okay, so for example, when I say, eh, you work on the platform, <laughs> and I say, right? So I already know that you work on it, and I just want to confirm. So that is the meaning of the question tag. Now we can have positive and negative question tags. First of all, let's see the negative question tags. How can we do it? Pay a lot of attention here, please. In order to create the negative tags, first of all, I need a positive statement or a positive sentence. Because we are in the simple present, let's start with the first sentence. I have the verb to be. Mm. You are a student. So look, I have the sentence. You are a student. Are you a student, guys? Yes? Mm. Yes. I don't know. Yes, we are. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Come on. You are studying. So <laughs> in this case, you are students. I already know that. I just want to confirm. So if I have a positive sentence, the tag question will be in negative. Yes. So what is the negative form of the verb are? Are, are, not, are, are not, or in this case, um, Aren't. What is the subject that I'm using? You. 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 So what is the subject that I'm going to use here? You. 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 So basically, we are just saying, hey, you are a student, aren't you? Okay. So we are just taking the affirmative sentence and we are transforming it into a negative sentence. I'm using the same verb and I'm using the same subject. Got it? Yes? It's the rule. That's the rule. Simple as that. Another example, imagine if I say, eh, you are from El Salvador. What is a tag question? Not in you. Very good. You? That's it, aren't you? Hey, imagine that you travel to the United States, but you know the Salvadorians, we have a very specific way to talk, <laughs> right? So they can say, hey, you are from El Salvador, aren't you? Okay? And look at this one. We are using the same verb, but in negative, and we are using the same subject. What happens if I'm talking in third person? It's exactly the same. 
He is very busy. What is the verb? Is. is. What is the negative form of is? Isn't. Or is not. Isn't. In this case, guys, when we are using negative tag or the question tags in negative, we use it only in the contraction form, okay? okay. Um, yeah, we don't say it's not he, all right? We always use the contraction form. Now, what is the subject that I'm using? He. 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 So, he's very busy, isn't he? Okay, and this is the same. It doesn't matter the subject that you are using. Imagine that I want to use the uh, pronoun we. Um, we are what? Mm, we are beautiful. <laughs> uh huh. What is the tag question here? Aren't, Aren't we? we? Ah, very good. Aren't we? Again, this is the same for every single subject. Imagine that I'm talking about your mom. I can say, um, your mom is at home. What do you think? What will be the tough question here? Isn't she? Isn't she? That's it. Isn't she? Isn't she? Look. Even, guys, you can use proper names for example um let me pick someone amanda amanda oops 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 amanda is your classmate what is the tag question isn't she, she? That's isn't, she? she? isn't she so amanda is your classmate isn't she okay so look we are using the negative form of the verb, and then the same pronoun. Is it clear? So far so good? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. It, it looks easy. It is, actually. These guys, uh, what you have to keep in mind is this. If the sentence is in affirmative, the question tag is the opposite. You have to say it in negative that's it you are going to use the same subject if you are using the verb to be you are using the same verb to be no problem at all now what happens if i'm not using the verb to be what happens if i'm using another verb but again right now it's only in simple present imagine i'm using the verb speak hey you speak english now, can I say speak in negative? No. We cannot say speak and, right? If I want to say in simple present a sentence in negative, what do I need? Don't. Don't. I need the auxiliary. Look, if I'm Don't. using you, the auxiliary is? Then just then Don't. You speak. Mm -hmm. So, you speak English. Again, I need the negative form and the same subject. And I will say, don't you. You speak English, don't you, okay? For example, imagine that I have this sentence. Um, you work every day. What will be the question tag? Don't you. Very good, don't you. Again, we can change the subject. I can say, we study at night. Don't we? Don't Very we? good, yes. Don't we? And we can use it in third person. Now, just remember, if I'm talking in simple present, what is the auxiliary that I need in third person? That. Yeah. So, for example, he studies Spanish, doesn't he? Or I can say, imagine, again, we can change the names. Um, I'm going to take Carlos. Carlos, um, well, let's see, wakes up early. Uh-huh. Doesn't he? 
Doesn't he? Doesn't he? Doesn't he? Negative. Very good. Doesn't he? Right? So look, again, if the sentence is in affirmative, the question tag is the opposite. Is it? Negative. Okay? Um, imagine that I say, let's see. Um, your sister is... No, well, well, let, let me change the verb. Your sister cooks very well. That's Doesn't it. she? Very good. Doesn't she? That's it. So if you see, in this case, guys, again, we are just using an affirmative sentences and then we just want to confirm. And we just use it, the question tag, in negative. If you are using the verb to be, remember, do I need an auxiliary for the verb to be? No, look, I just use the verb to be in negative. But if you have another verb, in that case, you need to use the auxiliary don't or doesn't if it is a third person. Got it? Yes. Clear? Clear. You sure? Yes. Uh huh. Okay, I will give you an example. I will say the sentence and you say the question tag. Um, you are happy. Are you? Are you? Are you? Okay. Um, we are tired. Are we? Are we? Are we? Okay. <laughs> Me too. Um, <laughs> You want to <laughs> you want to sleep. Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Very good. Um, yes, I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Let's see. Let's see. Um, she works tomorrow. Does she? Doesn't she? Doesn't she? Doesn't she? Doesn't she? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, you like pizza. Don't you? Don't, don't you? Don't you? Very good. Excellent. So you like pizza, don't you? Now, important guys with the intonation. I know that when we are asking questions, the most common intonation that we do is like racing. And we say, aren't you? Uh, isn't he? Don't you? But honestly, the pronunciation or the most common intonation in this kind of questions is falling so it's like you're a student aren't you or you speak spanish don't you okay so it's more like falling instead of say don't you we say don't you got it let's practice again tell me the correct intonation for example if i say um <laughs> I forgot all the sentences. Oh, <laughs> you like coffee. Don't you? Don't you? Very good. Don't you? Um, you study every day. Don't you? Don't Very you. good. Don't you? Sorry, sorry. Don't you? Don't you? Um, let's see. They live in Mexico. Don't they? Don't, okay, don't, don't they? they? Very good. How about if I use I? Um, I am a teacher. Am I? Don't I? Am... <laughs> uh, so what happens uh, there? Look at this one. I am a teacher. What's on? I'm... I mean, I'm not I. Pay attention here, everybody. <laughs> if you see, do I have a contraction like am and I? Can, can I say that? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> it sounds, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, and pay attention here, please. No, we cannot say this. Am and it doesn't exist. Pay a lot of attention because this is the only scenario when with the pronoun I, 
I will say aren't. Okay? So I'm going to say aren't I. Only in this yeah. case. This is the only scenario. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Never in another English or grammar topic you are going to see this. This is the only one. And the reason is because I don't have a contracted form in negative for am. And again, we cannot say I'm not I. Mm -mm. We are going to say aren't I. Listen, this is only when I'm using the verb to be simple present tag questions. Imagine that I say I am happy. Tag question? Aren't I? That's it. Oh. Aren't I? Now, what happens if I'm using a different verb? For example, I sleep late. Don't don't Ooh, I? Don't I? In this case, easy. We say, don't I? I sleep late. Don't I? But if you are using the verb to be, remember, R and I. Got it? Yes. Yes. Pretty good. Easy or difficult? Mm. Easy, but <laughs> easy difficult. to make mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> but little by little, don't worry, little by little. Okay, did you copy the structure? Not yet. Yeah. Copy, please. Teacher. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, maybe uh, again the intonation difference down up in this case guys remember the intonation for the tag questions is fall is falling i know yeah. that sometimes that intonation is difficult my recommendation and something that helped me to memorize the intonation it's do the mimic with my hand so i say you are a student aren't you I don't know why, but if you do the mimic with your hand, uh, looking up down, it's going to help you to remind or to remember that you have to uh, do the intonation, no up, but down. Okay, so try. You are a student, aren't you? Um, he's very busy, isn't he? Okay, do you speak English? Don't you? Instead of saying, don't you? Doesn't he? Mm -mm. Don't you? Doesn't he? Got it? That's the intonation. Okay, it's new for me, the intonation, because we always speak something like that. Exactly. But do you know what, guys? That happens most of the time because that's the intonation that we have in Spanish, but not right, in yes. English. All right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Okay, no worries. We are going to practice, but yeah, keep in mind the intonation, please. And actually, guys, this kind of intonation, you have to keep in mind that it's for almost every question in Spanish. Look at this example. I'm going to write two questions. Look at this one. The first sentence is a yes no question. The second sentence is a double H question. But the intonation will be different. So what do you think that is going to be the intonation? Are you happy? Are you happy? And Why? In the second one? Are you happy? Yes. Why, Why are, are you, you happy? happy? Why are you happy? Why are you happy? So it's the same or not? No. Not. What is the difference? The intonations in the first one, it's at the ending of the of the sentence. Like, are you happy? And this is like goes to up. Are you happy? Uh, like and that. The second one is the is choose the intonation. So let this is like uh, the way is down. Uh -huh. Why? Happy. So 
The first one, all the yes no questions, guys, are raising intonation. Are you happy? Can you help me? Uh, do you like it? All the yes no questions are raising intonation, are up. But all the double H questions are falling. Why are you happy? What do you do? When is the party? Um, where do you go? So all of the double H questions are falling. All the yes no questions are raising. This is something difficult for us because in Spanish, we don't do that. In Spanish, most of the time, we are using the racing intonation. But you have to keep in mind that. Got it? Yes? Got it. Pretty good. Okay, now let's continue. Did you copy, uh, everyone? Yes? Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, no worries. Copy, please. Copy everyone, this is going to help you, please. Just let me know when you finish. I'm done. You're done? Okay, I'm everybody. Done. Yes? Okay, now, again, if the sentence is affirmative, the tag question is in? Negative. 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 So now, let's switch. What happens, guys, if my sentence is in negative? What do you think? What is going to happen to the tag question? The question tag is it, it will be in positive. Exactly. As it's simple positive. as that. Okay? So, look at this one. I have negative sentence. The tag question is in positive. So, basically, it's just the opposite. Um, Look. You aren't a teacher. So what is the tag question here? Are you? Are you? Imagine that I say, you aren't from Mexico. Uh-huh. You aren't from Mexico. Are you? Are you? Uh -huh. are you? Again, look. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are, are, you? are you? Are you? Okay. So imagine that I say you aren't a singer. Are you? Are you? Are you? Okay. It is not are you. It is are you? Are you? Are you? Ah, that is the one. Are you? There is so much like an affirmation in Spanish. I'm sorry, Amanda. What do you say? There is some like an affirmative uh, sentence in Spanish. Exactly. When, yes. when we are uh, uh, assured about something, for yes. example, tú eres la profesora, eres tú, eres tú. Exactly. In Spanish, we use another word that is the typical verdad. <laughs> it is like, um, tú estás en la clase, ¿verdad? Right. That's the way that we ¿Cierto? say it. Ajá. Uh -huh. That's the way that we say it in Spanish. In English, we don't use the word true. No, we use this one. Are you? Okay? Next one. Again, we can change the subject. Imagine that instead of you, I say he. He isn't crazy. Is he? 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 I know. I know the intonation is a little difficult, but with the practice, everyone. Imagine that I say, um, uh, let's see, your mom isn't sleepy. Isn't she? Is 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 she? Is
Is she? Is she? Is she? Is she? Now, that is when we have the verb to be. Again, now let's see if I'm using I. Um, I'll say I'm not a teacher. I don't know. Mm, affirmative. Um, I. Ah, I. look. In that case, I don't need changes because it's in affirmative. Okay? I'm not a teacher. Am I? Right? It's like, lo soy. <laughs> okay? Now, what happens if I'm using the auxiliary? You don't speak French. Do you? Do you? Okay? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Um, you don't, you don't eat sushi. Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Um, let's see. Do. She doesn't wake up early. Do he? Does. Does she? Does she? Does she? Does she? Okay. Does she? Does she? So it's complicated. Just remember, <laughs> I think that, that you feel complicated the pronunciation. Yeah. Don't you? Yes. <laughs> yes, I know. But with the practice, guys, let's relax. I mean, this is the first day that we are starting this. So relax. With the practice, you will see that then you will be expert. Okay? Uh, any questions so far, guys? Nope. Okay, remember, if the sentence is in affirmative, the tag question is in? Negative. Negative. And the opposite, if my sentence is in negative, my tag question is in? Positive. That's positive. it. Positive. As simple as that. Okay? Did you copy the structure? Yes. Yeah. Yes? All right. Everybody? Can I move? Yes. Okay. Now let's have some practice. I'm going to share with you some sentences and you just have to tell me what will be the correct question tag. Okay? Let me open up the exercise. Give me a second. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Can you see a... The exercise? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Okay, look at the first one. It says, Julie isn't a teacher. She, is she? Is she? Is she? Is she? Mm -hmm. What is, is the she? correct intonation? Is she or is she? Is she? Is she? Is she? Ah, is she? Is she? Right. Very good. Look at this one. He's very handsome. Is he? No way. Okay. <laughs> is, is he? Is he? Are is you he? sure that is is he? Is he? No. Yes. Look. Isn't he? Isn't he? Uh, isn't he? Isn't he? Isn't he? Isn't he? Isn't he? Be careful. Isn't because it's positive. He? Isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> it's always the opposite. It's in this case, look at the sentence is in positive. affirmative. Positive, positive sentence. So remember that the question tag is the opposite. In this case, mm -hmm. very handsome, isn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know that some guys, you didn't want to say this. Come on, it's just an exercise. All right. <laughs> now, isn't, I, will be, isn't he? <laughs> I will be asking individually. So only the person I ask, only the person answers. Let me pick someone. Well, Amanda, she's... Alphabetical order. <laughs> Amanda, look at the next sentence. Um, hey, what's going on? Okay, give me a second. Technic issues. <laughs> um, he is saying it's hostile. That's the way. <laughs> he broke the computer. Not no, what happened is that someone is, is hating me. I don't know who, but someone is. Is taking the control. <laughs> uh, yes, now it's working, I guess. 
Okay, yes, it's working now. Okay, Amanda, can you read the sentence, please? You aren't from Brazil. Uh, are you? Okay, you aren't from Brazil. Are you? Good. All right, very good job. Amanda, pick one of your classmates, please. Let's see, let's see. Cosma. I'm sorry? Cosma, Cosma Latino. Cosma, are you there? Yeah. Okay, read the sentence, please. She is a pilot, a pilot is she. Is okay, she, is, is she? she? Good, is she? very good. Osman, pick someone. Um, Osman Hernandez. Thank you, Osman, go okay. ahead. Thank you. What are, what is all about today? Uh, is it? Is isn't, it? Is, isn't, isn't it? Okay, is it or isn't it? Isn't it? Yes, very good. Osman, pick someone, please. Okay, let me see. Uh, mm -hmm. Nelson Alberto. Okay, Nelson, go ahead. I'm not the person with the tickets. Uh-huh. Don't I? Don't I? Are you sure? Yes, because I can see R. <laughs> mm. <laughs> okay, if you see, uh -huh. look at this. The sentence. Oh, the contractions. The yes. I'm not. So affirmative. Look. M. I. You can see then. We're not. Sorry. <laughs> It's okay. Just remember, guys, if you have the verb to be, you don't need auxiliary. Okay? Yeah. Nelson, pick someone, please. Okay. Let me see. Jose Salvador. Thank you. Salvador, go ahead. She's from a small town in China. Isn't she? Isn't she? Very good, excellent. Salvador, pick someone. Andrea. All right, Andrea, go ahead. I like chocolate a lot. Um, don't I? Yes, very good. Pick someone, please. Um, Nelson. Um, he already participated. Someone else. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kevin Alexander. Thank you, Kevin. Go ahead. Um, they need some new clothes. Um, don't they? Yes. Good job. Pick someone, please. Um, the other Kevin wants to do it. I think. <laughs> Kevin Alfredo, go ahead. Um, do you? I'm sorry? Do you? Okay, you don't like spicy food? Do you? Very good. Pick someone, please. Um, Salvador? Jose Salvador. He already participated. Okay. Um, Eulise. All right, Eulise, go ahead. Uh, do we? Okay, we don't watch much TV. Do we? Do we? Oh, do we? Do we? Yes. Do we? Yes, that is the one. Perfect. Okay, volunteer for the next one. He doesn't cook very often. He doesn't cook very often. Uh -huh. Is he? Mm, is he? Do we have the verb to be? Oh. Um, he? There he? 
we'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, guys? He does he? Does he? Does he? Does he? Does he? Very good. How about this one? I often come home late. Uh, don't I? Do I? Don't I? Do I or don't I? Do I? Don't I? Don't. don't. Sentence don't is in affirmative. We change it into negative. How about this one? She studies very hard. Every night. Uh, isn't she? Doesn't she? Doesn't isn't she? or doesn't? Doesn't. Or doesn't. 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 She. doesn't. Very good. Doesn't she? Pretty good. How about this one? One lives in a big flat. Uh huh. Doesn't she? Doesn't she? That's the one. Pretty good. Excellent. So, easy or difficult one? What do you think? 50 50. With the practice. <laughs> Absolutely. With the practice, it will be easy because right now we are like, mm, why is it? <laughs> it's positive or it's negative? <laughs> you just have to pay quite attention. But no worries. Let's practice. As always, we need some speaking practice. So guys, we have 10 minutes. We are going to use the last 10 minutes of this class to practice. Um, we are going to use our imagination, okay? Uh, let's have this role plays. You are going to have a conversation with your classmates and I want you guys to use the questions to confirm information. Imagine, guys, that you are waiting to board at the airport, okay? But your flight is delayed. Imagine it has oh been delayed God, no. two hours. So you have two hours to talk to someone. Imagine that you are there at the airport and you are bored. <laughs> so you decide to start a conversation with a person that is sitting next to you, okay? So look at this picture. Imagine that this is you waiting for your flight. And there are some other people there waiting for the same flight too. So you have to start a conversation with your classmates. Imagine that this is the first time that you see each other. So you can start a conversation, try to speak only in simple presence, and you can use the tag question. For example, you can say, um, you are waiting the flight, aren't you? Um, are you bored? Uh, you can say you are bored, <laughs> aren't you? Right? So um, let's see, you can say you are from El Salvador, aren't you? And then you can start talking, nice to meet you. Ah, my name is Clarissa and you, ah, okay. You speak English, don't you? Things like that. And then you can start talking about hobbies. For example, do you know what? I like soccer. <laughs> so you like soccer, don't you? Okay? And things like that. You can talk about family. So you can say, ah, oh, you have kids, don't you? Ah, oh, yes, I have two kids. How about you? You have kids too, don't you? And things like that. Understood the role play? Everyone? Yes, I already feel anxious. <laughs> Why? Because that... I have to wait two hours and <laughs> I have to talk to to unknown people. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine, guys, that you are traveling to a very nice place for a vacation. <laughs> All right. I'm sending the instructions on WhatsApp group. Please, everybody, enter to the breakup rooms. This is a moment to talk. Sure. Okay. Sure. Yes. Can, can you show us again the screenshot about negative statement? Sure, no problem. Give me a second. Uh, this one? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. can give me one by second. Sure, no problem. Okay. So remember, try to speak in simple present so you can use the tag questions, okay? Okay, I finished, teacher. Thank you. Excellent. All right. So let me just uh, create a groups. One moment. 
Again, please enter to the breakup rooms because this is the moment that we have to practice everyone. I want you to feel free to talk, okay? If you are in a classroom where your classmates are not talking, just let me know so I can switch you to a different team. Let's go to practice. Um, I have a question, uh, teacher. Yes. Uh, specific. Uh, we talk. Uh, uh, we are talking about that topic. Uh, or we can change the topic or the sentences. Just imagine that you are at the airport waiting. Imagine that Cifrido is waiting to, Salvador is waiting, and you are just going to start talking with them. <laughs> whatever you want. You can talk about it, whatever you want. As long okay. as you talk in simple present, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Go ahead. Don't forget to use the questions. Okay. Topic we're going to to speak. Um, Start press introducing yourself. Hey, hello. My name is Clarissa. And you? Hello. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. I I want to start. Okay. <laughs> hi, hi, people. My name is Osman Hernandez. Uh. uh, uh I have, I, uh, I wearing, I have been wearing around one or uh, a bus. Airplane. Ah, uh, airplane. Oh, you think you're, airplane. You're the, you are at the airport. In the plane. <laughs> airport. 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 Okay. Airport. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to start again. Hi, how are you? My name is Osman Hernandez. What is your name? Osman? Okay. Anda? Hello, Osman. We'll have a round you. This Osman. You're the real. <laughs> and Ricardo? Okay. I'm sorry, Ricardo is there? Okay, I'm going to just. Yeah, okay. I'm going to try to join someone else to the group, but continue talking, please. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay friend. Uh, what country where you are? Mm, okay. Remember I, that you have to say middle. affirmative sentence and then the tag question. Okay. So you can say, you are from El Salvador, aren't you? That's the idea, okay? Okay, uh, you are England. Are you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Mm -hmm. You are England, aren't you? So, Josman? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I travel to England. And this moment, uh, Board the aboard my my airplane. Um, uh, into where do the travel? After you are you are in waiting the fly like me. Uh, are you? Ah, okay, exactly. Yeah, and with me, uh, my friend, Nelson Alberto, 
if this is a a, a person uh you will no no more to speak nelson friend Osman. okay uh, but you can see the the fly the fly uh, is slate but uh uh, uh, are you hungry? Uh, you are? You are? Are you hungry? You are? Mm -mm. You, you are, are you hungry, aren't. aren't you? You are hungry. Not teacher. in this case. I, I, I want to ask, are you? Uh, uh, you want to ask the are, direct are question? In, yes. Uh, are in, are in, you hungry? Mm. No, no. Remember, guys, that the tag question you have to say affirmative sentence and then the tag question. If you say, Are you hungry? That is not an affirmative sentence. That is just okay. a just no question. Okay. You are you are hungry? Uh Aren't, aren't you? That's the one. Okay. You are hungry, aren't you? Aren't you? Uh -huh, Nelson? Yes, I am. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. okay. And you, Nelson? You are hungry, aren't Mr. you? Nelson? Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> los escucho pausado. Just leave. Oh, he has issues with the internet. Me, oh, okay. me cuesta en, entenderles. Ah, okay, okay. He has issues, guys, so... It's okay, you can continue, don't worry. Nelson, Nelson, you are sleeping, aren't you? Repeat? You are sleeping, aren't you? Do you work... Um... Do you work in in the in April? Don't you? Oh, uh, for Cepedo or Jose Salvador? Maybe. Well, am I? Teacher, hello. Yes. For example, uh, in this case. I am going to Germany. Mm -hmm. Am I? Yeah, but in this case, remember that you can, uh, instead of using M, you can say to her, you. So you can say you are going to, which country you say? What? What, what, what was the country? Germany. Germany. Okay, so you can say, Ah, you go or you are going to Germany, aren't you? Okay. Um, Instead of am I, what happens is, si decimos, I am traveling to Germany. So, es como que estemos hablando con nosotros mismos, right? Uh -huh. So, en lugar de decir I am, so you can um, tell her. So, you, you are traveling to Germany, um, aren't okay. you? Mm-hmm. What else? Um, for example, I'm thirsty. You. Tratemos de hacer que está platicando con ella. Entonces, en lugar de decir um, I am, you can say you are yeah. thirsty. Ah, okay. You have, you. Mm -hmm. you, you mm -hmm. have. You are thirsty. You are. You are thirsty. I'm right. Uh huh. You are thirsty, mm -hmm. aren't you? Okay, uh, I am confirmed. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, isn't you confirm? Yes, I am thirsty. Okay. And uh, uh, talking about the intonation, we are confused. When is falling, falling, when is rising? Okay, when we are talking about the tag questions, all the time is falling, okay? And that question, guys, is just falling, okay? Okay. Yes. Okay, but look, we don't have more time, unfortunately. Let's go back to the main room, okay? Okay. 
Okay, thank you. Okay. Good. Time's up. All right. How was the conversation with the stranger at the airport? I'm afraid. Why? Because they are a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't trust them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Did they look suspicious? Totally. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's, a, um, it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And you guys, how was the conversation? Easy? Difficult? Uh huh. 50 50. 50 50. And that difficult. Okay. So look, I know that this topic is, is difficult, of course. This is the first time that we are studying it. I know that the intonation is also a little bit hard, but no worries. We are going to continue practicing this topic and then you will be experts in question tasks. Okay? Uh, unfortunately, we don't have more time. So everybody, do you have any questions before leaving? No, all good. We can okay. practice tomorrow. And we will do it. Don't worry about it. As always, before leaving, we have a winner. And today's winner is Sifrido Ernesto. So you yes, are the winner. Congratulations. <laughs> Very good. So everybody, you are totally free to go to sleep. Have a wonderful night. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you. Bye. See you. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Take Goodbye. care. See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you. All right. Hello, Tefrida. How are you? I'm good. Sure. I'm good. Tired? <laughs> <laughs> but it's almost Friday. Relax. All right, so this little meeting, I don't want to take you so much time. This short meeting is just to clarify some questions that you may have. It's in order to provide feedbacks and to listen some comments that you may have about the class, about the platform, or about the program in general. So do you have any questions so far? Mm, not really. <laughs> I use finish, well, I finished the last with the uh, unit number two, but to be honest, I didn't worry in the unit number three. <laughs> so I don't have any question at the moment. Pretty good. Yeah, actually, I can see your profiles uh, on the platform. And something that I like is that you had 100% in both units. That's pretty good. And yeah. I can see that you already finished the midterm. So that's excellent, too. I like that. Well, yes. that's the feedback that I have for you, it's, it's good because I can see you in the class. Actually, you are, um, you have a perfect attendance so far. And I can see that you always participate. So that's pretty good too. That's a positive feedback for you. Okay, that's great. <laughs> How did you feel the topics to, uh, so far? All the topics? That um, some of them easy why well, you need some practice and it's all done but the another one is like uh, I need the extra practice like uh, practice the uh, present perfect and uh, present continuous I think so for the report of speech and the specific cases mm -hmm. um, for example the topic for today I think so I need some practice because I usually ask a question in past or future, but never in present. Ah. So it's kind of weird, but is like my a weak point. Okay. Like ah okay. When I want to ask something, eh, would you work tomorrow? Would you do the homework today? Or something like that, but he's like never in person, like, oh, how are you? How are you today? Or something like that. Yeah, I know. But no worries. Uh, during the unit, uh, this that's, is the unit number three. We are going to practice a lot this topic. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the class, I will try to take also some minutes in some classes in order to practice 
uh, or review the reported speech too. I know that that was a little complicated topic and I don't want your classmate to forget it. So also I will try to take some minutes to practice that one too. Yeah, I also need to memorize some birds in person. No, it's not present to this past participle. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I have some dopes and a lot of things. <laughs> And you are not the only one. I think that everybody needs to do that. Uh, sometimes we don't review the verbs. Maybe yes, we do that in simple past, but not in the past participle. So that is something that is affecting to some others too. Yeah, me too. Is uh, I need to memorize a lot, <laughs> but my memory is special, and some things <laughs> I memorize some bird forever and sometimes uh, it's hard to memorize okay that's interesting well try little by little okay the more you practice the more that it will be easier to memorize them okay got it pretty good i don't know if you have any other question or comments so far no. not really <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> oh, good to be honest Perfect. I'm glad. Okay, so keep going, please continue with that perfect attendance and with that practicing in the class. You're doing great. So thank you so much for doing it. Thanks to you for being an excellent teacher. Oh, thank you. All right. So have a wonderful night, Frida, and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.